The Period of a Wave by kscience.com. I'm now drawing a displacement time graph of a wave. So along the y-axis is the displacement of the wave. And the displacement in this case is going to be meters. And along the x-axis is time. And this is the wave for this displacement time graph as you can see here. So what we're now going to look at is the period of a wave. The period is the time it takes for a full cycle of a wave to be completed. So now we identify one wavelength of this wave from one point to the next equivalent point of the wave. So I've now highlighted one wavelength on this displacement time graph. So remember the period is the time it takes for a full cycle of the wave to be completed. So at four seconds is when one wavelength was completed. So that means the period of this wave is four seconds. It's a time. And if we go from the trough of one wave to the next equivalent trough of the next wave, that would have taken four seconds to complete that one wavelength from three seconds to seven seconds. So it's four seconds is the period. So the period is four seconds. And this wavelength shows that it took from six seconds to 10 seconds to complete that one cycle of one wavelength. So that means this one wavelength period is four seconds as well. The period of this wave is four seconds. It's a time. The period of this wave is four seconds. So that means this one wavelength period is four seconds as well. Let's now see how we can relate the period of a wave to the frequency of the wave. So firstly, I want to calculate the frequency of this wave. So it's the number of waves per second. So it took four seconds for one wavelength to be completed. That means that you do one wavelength divided by time, four seconds, which gives you a frequency of 0 0.25 hertz. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So I want to introduce this new equation. The period of a wave equals one over frequency. So we're gonna see how the period and the frequency relate to one another. So we've got the period, which is four seconds, the time it took for one full cycle of the wave to be completed. So we've got the period, which is four seconds, the time it took for one full cycle of the wave to be completed. And we also worked out the frequency, which is 0 0.25 Hertz. So now if we substitute in all the numbers, you'll see that four seconds, the period, equals one over 0 0.25 hertz. One over 0 0.25 hertz. And if we rearrange for one, that means one equals period times frequency. So that'll be four seconds times 0 0.25 hertz, which equals one. Let's now rearrange for the frequency of the wave, 0 0.25 hertz, equals 1 over 4 seconds, which equals 0 0.25. And then the first one we did, which was for the period, the time, is 4 seconds equals 1 over 0 0.25, which will equal 4. So you can use this equation, period equals 1 over frequency, to calculate the frequency if you have the period, and to calculate the period if you have the frequency. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.